What's good, MK Empire? And welcome back to our channel. So, you guys, today I'm coming to show you guys what I got in my hospital bag. Y'all gotta excuse the chair. Y'all know the chair's squeaky. I'm gonna try not to um, move a lot in this video. But, anyways, before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time we drop a video. Now, usually we post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but lately we've been slacking. I've been tired. It's just been a lot going on. But anyways, I don't want this video to be super duper long. So let's hop right into the video. Okay. So, I'm gonna start with my bag first. This is just a little beach bag I got. You can use a suitcase if you want to, or a little duff, cute little duffel bag or whatever. But I'm just gonna use this bag because this is what I got. So, let me just show y'all. And I'm just, it's in no particular order. I'm just going to pull out what I pull out. All right. So, first things first, if you're a YouTuber, or even if you're not a YouTuber, if you have a professional camera or if you plan on recording, taking pictures, or anything like that while you're in the hospital, got my camera book bag. So, yeah. And in here, because you can't just have an empty camera book bag, I got... An extra battery battery charger and then um I'm dropping stuff the um I don't even know what this is I think this is a car charge I probably I don't ever use this but I usually keep all this stuff in here and then the USB is this a USB port oh this say HDMI well, I'm going to have to pack a USB so I can um, upload videos while I'm in the hospital. That's what I got in here. And then, now something that I didn't bring the last two times that I'm going to bring this time is some snacks, honey. I got a bag full of snacks. I got chips, fruit snacks. I probably put some chocolate in here because um last time I didn't bring any snacks and I was like dang I need something to munch on. The hospital provides food of course but you know if you a snacker or if you just want to put snacks inside your bag I would suggest to pack you a little plastic bag put all your favorite snacks in there and you'll be good to go. Okay and then I got a little zippy bag with all my toiletries in here. So I got nipple shields because I plan on breastfeeding and even I think some women don't breastfeed but they breast still leak after they had a baby so you might want to pack these anyway. Um, but I am planning on breastfeeding so I have nipple shields on here. What they call nursing pads. Nursing pads. I got travel size deodorant, travel size toothpaste. I got me and Mike toothbrush, a travel size Dove body wash and a travel size of Jergens lotion. So all your little toiletries you wanna put in here. And then I got some fuzzy little socks. These are so cute, somebody gave to me. Um, it's just two pair on here and they're the ones with the skids on them. So yeah, I'm probably gonna, well I know I'm gonna wear this cause I don't like them hospital socks. They move around a lot, like they twist on your feet and stuff and they're not really that comfortable. And these are soft and fuzzy, so I packed these. And then last time what I had packed, which is the last thing, is my robe. I'll probably put this on when I have guests and stuff come over or whatever. I'll um put this put this robe on. But as far as underwear, you're not gonna need it because the hospitals, they always, you know when they give, they give you pads, you don't need pads, that's extra. And the mesh underwear, so you don't need to pack any underwear. Don't mess up your cute panties, girl, because you don't need it. Um, they provide socks, but like I said, I don't like hospital socks, so I brought my own. They have hospital gowns, but you know, it's always cold in the hospital, so that's why I bought a fuzzy, robe and I mean that's about it they take care of you they feed you they have water apple juice cranberry juice so 
So you don't need no drinks. And they're gonna make sure you drink a lot of water anyway, so you don't have to pack no, no water or nothing like that. And yeah, that's about it. Very simple and ready to go. Oh, and also I cannot forget your coming home outfit. Right now I just have a shirt in here, but I am gonna put some leggings in here. So my baby girl's wearing pink coming home, so I wanted to wear pink too. So I got a pink shirt and then I'm gonna pack some um, leggings to go in. Cause I mean, it's cold out here and it's been raining. So I'm gonna have a, a jacket on anyways, or a coat. So there's no point in me trying to look extra super duper cute coming home. But I know when I had my daughter, it was summertime, so I packed a cute little summer outfit. But you always wanna make sure you wear something that's loose, like that shirt I got. It's a t it's like a big t-shirt. Well, it's not really big, but it's a um it's a t-shirt, it's something flowy. You don't wanna wear nothing too tight on your stomach. Or um I mean I think some some people do come home in jeans, but I always prefer to wear something stretchy like leggings or joggers or sweatpants because it's something comfortable like you always want to be comfortable coming home because you're going to be sore your stomach going to be hurting so you just want to make sure you wear breathable and comfortable clothes now on to the baby bag now y'all last year i bought not last year when i had my son i bought a um, diaper bag book bag and i fell in love ever since because with my daughter I had a really cute purse diaper bag and I love that too, it was so big. But I feel like when you have multiple kids, these are so much more convenient because all you do is just, you put them on your back and your hands are free. So one toddler's over here doing something, you can have a baby on your little wrap and you, you can just handle your kids better like with this. And it has um, stroller, the stroller loops on here to loop on to your stroller, which I love. I don't know why I got, still got the tag. I need to take the tags off. And insulated, it has the insulated pockets right here. So this is where you put your baby milk and stuff at. It's just really convenient. Like I, I love these diaper bag book bags. So make sure you guys look into them. They have cuter ones too, but child, ain't nobody got time to be trying to be fashionable and cute these days. With three kids, this is cute enough. So in here, the only thing I packed is, I don't want to show y'all too much because her coming home outfit is in here and that's a surprise. I don't want anybody to see that just yet. But I did pack, and this is also optional. You know, every baby come home in them little hospital blankets, the blue, white, and um pink blankets or the blankets with the little footprints all on them so i mean it's optional but i did bring my own receiving blanket um this you definitely gonna need if it's gonna be cold when you having your baby because i'm gonna cover her up in this so i bought a um this is a fluffy a soft fluffy blanket to cover on her and then i have two outfits in here her coming home outfit and another outfit just because because like I said usually the hospital most of the time your baby either will be naked with just a diaper on and they'll be swaddled into a blanket or um, like at my hospital they give gowns out so the baby will be wearing a gown from the hospital and then I pack a breastfeeding cover because like I said I plan on breastfeeding and I probably won't even need this I really don't know why I brought it but it's gonna need to stay in here anyways so that's in here. And then she has a cute little coat to come home in. Ain't this cute with the little ears on it? So y'all, that's a sneak peek of what she gonna be coming home in. And so that's what I got in the big part. And in one of these little compartments in here, I packed some socks two pairs of socks for the two outfits I packed. And then I packed two pair of mittens. Then in this front little pouch up here, uh -oh, I have, 
some hand sanitizer. I think I said it that in my bag I got hand sanitizer, but I got some in the baby bag too. So another thing in hand sanitizer. You can never have too much. People come in, they're gonna have to wash their hands if they forget hand sanitizer. I think that's about it. I don't plan on bottle feeding just yet because I'm breastfeeding. When you breastfeed, you don't want to bottle feed too early because they'll get something called nipple confusion. So I didn't pack any bottles. And my hospital provide bottles as well. So I don't need that anyways. But if you do plan on breastfeeding, this is a tip, ladies. I could do a whole breastfeeding video. Like I could I breastfed both of my kids, so I'm like a pro at breastfeeding. But um ladies, if you do plan on breastfeeding, I would suggest do not pump as soon as you have your baby. You want to establish your milk supply first. So that's why I didn't bring no breast pump. I didn't bring uh, no bottles or nothing yet. I think they said to wait at least three weeks till your baby gets used to latching on to you and um, feeding from you. And once you build your milk supply, then you can start pumping and feeding and pumping and feeding so you can produce enough milk to freeze or to put in bottles and to nurse. But anyways, that's the that, y'all. That's it's a lot that comes with breastfeeding. But that's all that I have in my bag, in my diaper bag. Um, the only thing Mike usually bring is um, an outfit as well, some deodorant. I packed his toothbrush already inside my bag, so he has that. And that's about it, y'all. We ready, we set. Only thing I gotta remember to grab before I leave is my laptop and my purse, because my purse got my wallet in it, and I'm gonna need my wallet. But. I don't know, I might get to a point where I just pack my wallet inside my bag so when it's time to go, I don't have to bring anything but my bags and the baby bag. And then we gotta put the car seat in the car and what else we gotta do? I think that's about it. Cause I am currently 37 weeks, which means baby girl is due any day now. So I was like, let me get this video out of the way because I don't know when she's coming and I don't want to wait too late. And then we had the hospital and I didn't do this video. I don't think I missed anything. I mean, I really don't like to pack that much stuff anyways because most of the stuff you need is provided to you. Especially for the baby. You don't want to pack no diapers, no wipes. They provide all that and you want to leave some room in your bag to take some of them diapers and put it in your bag because that's what I always do. I always take what they have in there, whether it's lotion, baby powder, diapers, wipes, whatever they provide and in the hospital, I use it and I take some home with me. Other than that, y'all, I'm ready. I'm tired of being pregnant. I'm so ready to have this baby. I'll be 38 weeks on Sunday, so <sighs> let's hope and pray she comes and I will do her baby update video very soon. So that concludes the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.